Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at our next example. And that looks a little bit strange. First of all, we notice a very big number at the back, minus 72. We notice that here the numerical coefficients are 1 and 1. So how do we factor that? And then secondly, notice the x squared term is in the middle. So first let's rewrite it into a better form where the highest power comes first, x squared. Then we we'll put this next, x, and then minus 72. That's a more familiar form. And then we realize that this, when it's factored, is going to look something like this, the product of two binomials. And to get the first term, we're definitely going to need an x and an x. And notice we have a positive here and a negative there, which means that one must be positive and one must be negative. Now, the way to figure it out is to know that the product of the two numbers that go here and here must equal negative 72 and that the sum must equal a positive 1. Because of this, we realize that the new numbers that are multiplying, one must be one bigger than the other. The bigger one must be one bigger than the negative smaller one. So when I look at two numbers, for example, I can have a 9 multiplied times an 8. But if I make this a negative, then 9 times a negative 8 gives me a negative 72, and 9 plus a negative 8, negative 8, gives me a positive 1. So the sum is 1, the product is negative 72, so those are the two numbers that go in here. So this becomes a negative 8 and a positive 9. If I now multiply those back out again, then I get the original problem back, and so I know that I did it correctly. So again, the way to do that is to look at the last number here, and I say the product must therefore be negative 72, and when I look at the middle term, that the sum of the two numbers must add up to positive 1. 9 times 8 is 72. 9 is 1 bigger than 8. If I make the 8 a negative and the 9 a positive, when I add them, I get plus 1. I get the middle term. I've got it correctly. Of course, we could use the FOIL method. If we use the FOIL method, on the left side to get x squared, of course, I need a 1 and a 1. On the right side, I'm going to need two numbers when I multiply, I get 72. So, for example, 72 and 1, or 36 and 2, or perhaps 18 and 4, or 9 and 8. Those are some of the combinations. And, of course, I know that one must be positive and one must be negative, and I know that the positive one must be bigger, so then I can go ahead and do this. But then I realize when I add the two together, I get plus one. So the most likely candidate would be this. And let's see if that's indeed the case. One times nine gives me nine. One times negative eight gives me negative eight. When I add it together, I get plus one. And that means I got the middle term. So you can see the, the FOIL method gives you the exact same way of coming to the right answer. And that is how it's done.